Hey there, welcome back. This is Thomas Shapiro here with the Piece of PDX team. Today we're doing the Get to Know series and we are featuring Overlook this week. The Get to Know series is a great opportunity for you to do your market research about the Pacific Northwest without ever having to leave your house. So if you like what you're seeing today, hit the subscribe button so you can watch more great content. I am standing in front of the Overlook House, which is one of the signature spots for Overlook. A popular destination for weddings, bar mitzvahs, events, you name it. So today, Patrick and I are gonna to be touring you all around the Overlook neighborhood, showing you some beautiful houses, great restaurants, bars, all that good stuff. So let's go check it out. Apart from its accessibility to the I-5 corridor and near downtown and the rest of the city, Overlook also offers a variety of shops, restaurants, and bars, as well as close proximity to amenities like New Seasons and The Max. Overlook boasts a population of 6,000 people and 2,600 homes. Roughly 65% of those are owner-occupied, while the other 35% are rentals. During the 1800s, before Overlook was a neighborhood, the area was a part of the city of Albina, which incorporated with Portland and East Portland in the 1890s. Businessman and automobile enthusiast Ernest Henry Wem was the first to invest heavily in real estate in the Overlook neighborhood in the early 1900s. Around this time, roads were laid throughout the area and streetcar lines followed development west and north towards St. John's. Hey folks, Patrick here with the Piece of PDX team. We are outside the Alibi, one of my favorite stops in town. What I love about the Alibi are the tiki drinks and decor and a huge selection for karaoke. Be sure to check it out next time you're in Overlook. So one of the best kept secrets of the Overlook neighborhood is the corner of North Killingsworth and Gay. Uh, we come here all the time to go to Milk Glass Market, which has a terrific breakfast. So you can order online, pick up in person, and then go have a delicious meal. And while you're here, be sure to check out No Popaws, which is one of Popo and Archer's favorite spots in town to grab uh, little treats, bully sticks, toys, you name it. So if you're looking for dog stuff, maybe you're looking for some breakfast, come on by. We're outside the Adidas headquarters, one of the biggest employers in the Portland area and a cornerstone business of the Overlook neighborhood. And fun fact, this used to be a hospital, the one I was born at. So we're here at Moxcrest Park, which is probably one of North Portland's most notable parks. The reason for it being that you get this tremendous view of the city and the nature around it. So the next time you're in the neighborhood, feel free to check out Mox Crest. Whether it's a sunset or secondary suite you're chasing, Overlook has it. For more, head to our blog to find out where to get the best Oaxacan tacos in the neighborhood. I'll leave the link in the description box below. All right, we just got done at Dog Bowl, and so we're gonna be heading over to the Lucky Lab Brewery to go grab some food and drinks with the pups. That's gonna do it for us today. If you liked what you saw here, feel free to hit that subscribe button because we post lots of great content about the Portland metro area every single week. And uh, if you are in the market to buy or sell a home in the area, feel free to hit us up.